Hello, it's a mushroom crown princess. You're welcome back to my channel. You're welcome, you're welcome back. So I went on a long break, long, long, long break um, to complete my thesis, my work. Yes. So in our previous video, the welcome video, I told you why I left. But in the comment section, um, there was a lady, I guess, who, who asked the question on the incubation room, what should be the condition? So today I'm going to go on a tour with you in my incubation room so that you see how it looks like and then you can also structure your incubation room like that. And before we start, do all to hit on the subscription button to join the lovely team. It's everything mushroom and vegetables. We talk about the incubation room for mushroom production. You are looking at a room with a room temperature a room with a room temperature yes so you have the temperature in your room should be between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius it shouldn't exceed that 30 the mycelium can survive but when it's going to 31 32 33 it becomes very difficult for the mycelium to survive or colonize through your bag for you so always maintain this temperature between 22 23 up to um 30 maximum okay and then 23 to 25 is the best 23 25 if you can maintain it 23 to 25 is the best for colonization in your incubation room and the incubation room doesn't have to be hot okay it doesn't have to be hot so someone will also ask that if i don't have a thermometer or something to measure the temperature or take the temperature of my incubation room how do i go about it so the traditional way to know whether your incubation room temperature is cool and good for your mycelium just grab your chair send it to the center of your incubation room take a seat for about five to 10 minutes and then if you feel okay that oh i don't need a fan the incubation room i can still stay a little longer then the mycelium say i do warm but within the first two three minutes you feel like oh sh i'm warm like this place is hot i need fun then the mycelium is literally not also feeling well okay so that is how traditionally you can determine or know like if your incubation room temperature is good for your mycelium to do all yes so we are in the incubation room and then take a look at it <laughs> and this incubation room was built using bamboo okay using bamboo and then wood and then a mat to construct it so we are in the incubation room so we use this wood to construct the sideway and the pillars we use the wood to construct it okay and then we use the net so this is kind of like mosquito net or when you go to the market you say you want a net a net yes the carpentry net what we use on our windows in africa yeah so you can get this and it was sunlight through the back okay so i used a black polish to cover to block the sunlight and then we go here that is the bamboo this is bamboo i use bamboo in constructing all this so we use the bamboo we divide the bamboo into two equal parts and then we nail it against the wood the pillars so this is a metal a metal so when you get a carpenter and he takes a look at this video he can come up with something great and this is the entrance this is one entrance and there's another entrance over there so this part this is the net i was talking about yes kind of like a mosquito net and the top two there was sunlight penetration so we just use a cloth then we cover that area but when the air is blowing the cloth lift up and come down and also direct air into our incubation room you see the movement of the cloth yeah so this is the side way we use wood in constructing this so you can get a wood this net serves as a barrier 
for insects not to enter your incubation room so this is what i was talking about it's kind of a reflecting of the sun so that is why i went for the black poly to kind of cover the sun but a little drop of the sun still came in right so this is our second entrance so this is our entrance yeah this, that is our entrance and then we have the traditional mats covering up we have the traditional mats at the top so initially we use the um the zen okay the roofing sheet to roof it and then we use the mat to cover the top you can use um the grasses to roof it but in the city in accra i didn't get access to the grasses so i use the roofing sheets which is there and then i use the mat to kind of serve as a blockage for direct heat that is attracted by the roofing sheet to come into the cropping house sorry the incubation room yeah so this is it wherever the sun reflects i use the cloth or the black poly to cover it so i didn't use black poly throughout because the black poly also absorbs heat so it can make the roof very hot so i used this cloth but the cloth got shortened so i just used the black poly for this side and this side so only two sides <laughs> yeah and this is the mat for the roofing plus the roofing sheets itself okay and then we use metals as the pillar so that it will be strong yeah so this is a metal and after that we constructed our shelves so the shelves too we have the pillars okay that is holding it from the ground yeah so from the ground we have this with dark holes okay so we first of all created a hose we kept one bamboo but we have treated the bamboos we treated them before we started our structures and then we made another one straight this way so this is one pillar so we have one two three four five six for this length we made six pillars left and six pillars um right okay so it's double double and then for the first cells a uh, shelves right for the first shelves we made this horizontal one and then we place this bamboo on it so this bamboo one bamboo we divide it into about four sections and then we nail it on the bigger bamboo okay so this is how we constructed when you show this video to a carpenter you should be able to do a perfect job so with um combining this bamboo to this it's kind of difficult using the nail so we went for this kind of wire it helps us to hold the two bamboos together very 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 firm and then we use the small nails for this one to the bigger bamboo where the bags sit okay so this is how we did it it's very easy cost effective so the floor you can decide to cement it okay so i just complete our school trying to vibe out come back to um doing great right so starting i couldn't like do everything before i start so i started a bath and later i will do concrete for the floor okay so that you can easily sweep and then when the place is hot you can easily pour water so the floor will not be completely solid cemented it's kind of a rough cemented floor that where you pour water the water can penetrate to the ground okay so that is the kind of cementing that i'll be doing the concrete that i'll do on the floor yes so literally this is our incubation room make sure your incubation room is not hot and then remember your temperature between 23 to 29 is very cool and our myceliums are doing doing well so this is the bags we did just a week ago it's not even up to a week so it will, it will be a week that is tomorrow yeah tomorrow will be a week we, we had a training section and then we did it and also we have this one we did it on the 29th of um 
last month 2023 and it's also doing well we had this one on the 15th so you can literally put your dates here using this type of um, solid tape or you can use a um, marker temporary marker to label it the day that your what's on it this one too was done on the 15th and our bags are colonizing so we have two weeks more then most of our bags will be ready to this one too was done on the 17th yeah so you can do it in badges you do as your strength can take you okay i hope this video helped and then answered most of the questions you have in mind how should i construct my incubation you can do something simple if you also have money and you want to go into fully automated one you have to get a specialist on board where you have all the installation of the air conditions and everything you need to regulate um to regulate your temperature but for traditional methods in africa there is a way to always grow your mushroom make your money using available resources cheaper resources and still doing great stuff this is a girl the conferences of the edible fungi kingdom that is mushroom yes if today is your first time hit on the subscription button to join the lovely team the training programs are still ongoing yes and if you want to support the movement because after school i've talked about it that imagine having about 30 youth of my own age out there doing a great agribusiness even if it is not the cultivation of the mushroom they buy the fresh mushroom they add value to it and they produce imagine just imagine so i've created this movement that we offer training program at least twice in a month and it's always a three days program always practical so you can support for us to acquire the equipment the materials the necessary things that we need to mobilize these people there are people who are from far distance but they want to come and live we wish to get accommodation for them at the lowest cost for free if you can assist our details are in the description button help us join the team let us make a better ghana a better africa support your girl thank you and i love you for always saying and always watching my videos god bless you See you in my next video.